your weather forecast with meteorologist Brian Ramsey. Hey, good morning out there, guys. We have a flash flood watch in effect for today, now until this evening. Not for Baton Rouge, though. This is mainly for our northern parishes. So this includes Point P Parish, St. Helena Parish, East and West Feliciana Parish, and it also includes our viewing areas in Mississippi. Now, this the heaviest rain looks to be farther to the north, but we could still see heavy rain here. We're talking about two to four inches per hour in some of the rainfall rates in those storms. On top of already saturated soils, we can't really take much more. In fact, yesterday we had some really good rain, especially in our northern parishes. One of the reasons why we have that flash flood watch out there. So can't really take much more water. It's just going to run off and it's going to gather on the ground and could lead to flood concerns. Some areas saw up to four inches yesterday right on the Mississippi-Louisiana line. As for a live look outside right now, though, you'll see it's pretty dry. Not seeing any rain falling out there at the moment. Moment, but it will not stay that way. We are already seeing a line of storms developing to our west near Lafayette. Those are heading eastward and should be here in the next hour or two. We also have some flash flood warnings taking effect to our north. Now, as we take a closer look at some of that rain out there right now, you'll see uh, Opelousas and Crowley getting that line of storms. These storms are only just developing, though. They're going to be growing before they reach us in Baton Rouge. And we do have one shower, at least in our viewing area right now. Looks to be going over Tunica Hills at the moment. So make sure to grab that umbrella. Before we head out the door, temperatures right now sitting in the mid 70s, 76 in Baton Rouge at the moment. Highs likely only to be near 80 or 85 or 6 degrees. Not expecting us to hit 90 since we are going to see a lot of that rain earlier in the morning, avoiding uh, or preventing us from warming up much. Temperatures to the south look pretty similar. Highs anywhere from 87 to 82 degrees for today. Now, future track rain totals are picking up on some pretty good totals and some pretty low totals. Now, again, Pretty much everybody's going to see maybe about an inch of rain today, if not a little bit more. But in some of those isolated storms, we could see much heavier totals. Here's a perfect example Homa, five inches. Not saying Homa's going to see five inches, but this is where the computer model thinks the rain's going to fall in an isolated storm. But that isolated storm could take place anywhere across our area, and that's what we'll have to watch closely when it comes to flood concerns. Now, the rain to our west will continue to push eastward. We're going to see lots of rain throughout our morning hours and in the early afternoon, and we could still continue to see more pop-up showers and thunderstorms as we go into the evening hours today as well. So we are talking about a pretty long period of rainfall for the morning. So if you do have any plans outdoors, you're going to have to plan for that rain. Now, the flood potential today is going to be greatest towards Monroe and Jackson. They have a level three out of four threat for flash flood. Here in Baton Rouge, we have a higher threat than yesterday. Almost everybody, except the immediate coastline, and I mean immediate, immediate coastline, is under a level two out of four threat for flash flooding. That's a slight risk, but again, the greatest concern will be for our northern parishes where that flash flood watch is in effect for today. That means flash flooding is possible, but it does not mean it's occurring. That's only a flash flood warning, so remember that. Watch is not a warning, it's just saying the conditions are there for flooding to occur. Now, as we take a look at rain coverage tomorrow, it's still going to remain high. It goes down a little bit on Friday, but still stays pretty high through the weekend, becoming more scattered once we get into next week. But tomorrow, we will still see heavy rain, as you just saw. Plenty of rain coverage tomorrow. Talking about a level one out of four threat for flash flooding tomorrow. Friday holding that same threat, about three to five inches in the next seven days. It's quite a bit of rain. We also got two tropical waves out in the open Atlantic. One is still over West Africa, but it's beginning to move offshore. It has only a 20% chance of developing. It's over two weeks out from us, so I'm not even worried about it. This one, though, is about to track over the Windward Islands into the Caribbean over the next couple of days, where in the next five days, it also only has a low chance of developing, but it's certainly something worth monitoring as it goes into the Caribbean. Your seven-day forecast shows a high of 86 degrees today with heavy rain. Widespread storms continuing tomorrow. Highs are back in the upper 80s for Friday and Saturday. More rain this weekend, but the rain becomes scattered for next week.